thanks to record investments attracted to the project through the Thank You promotion, the construction of the Savalmash Design and Technological Bureau was accelerated. In August, work was carried out at the construction site in various areas. The first of them is engineering networks, which should be connected before the onset of cold weather. The laying of heating and water supply pipes has reached the final stage. Hot water supply pipes were laid inside the building. Work began on the undercarriageway puncture to connect the stormwater drainage system to the central point. Works on piping of the individual heating station were in progress. Heating batteries were installed in the Design and Technological Bureau laboratory. Video surveillance was installed and started. Works on laying and lighting and telemetry cables were carried out. High voltage power cables were connected to the transformers. A 10 kW switchgear was installed. Ventilation and automatic fire extinguishing system were carried out. The second line of work is the landscaping of the territory, which should also be completed before the cold weather. Construction waste and excess soil were actively removed from the site. Laying of asphalt and installation of curbs was carried out. At the end of the month, preparation of the base for asphalting began on the right side of the building, where the heating main runs. Driveways and steps were being formed. The temporary fence was removed and preparations for the installation of the permanent fence began. Lawn improvement in some areas began. In another area, the interior of the Design and Technological Bureau, walls and ceilings were being painted and tiles were being laid. In the coming weeks, the company will have to fulfill a number of important construction tasks. For this purpose, we need to maintain a high rate of financing. That is why we have extended the thank you promotion until the 15th of September, or until the target amount of $4 million is reached. Less than 800,000 of that remains to be raised. Sovelmash has begun preparations to obtain the Design and Technological Bureau construction completion document. This document is issued on the basis of inspection by the State Commission. In order to receive it, it is necessary to complete the facility, connect and check the engineering networks for operability. It is also necessary to prepare 36 other various documents. Several more specialists have started working on the first of them in order to speed up the handover of the building to the State Commission and to put the Design and Technological Bureau into operation faster. For the first time, the company's specialists performed automatic state grooving on a grooving machine of the company's own design and manufacture. The stator will be used in an angle grinder, also developed by Sovelmash. The automatic machine itself makes groove boxes from a strip of insulating material and mounts them in the groove. At the same time, it is no bigger than a microwave, whereas the Chinese analog is the size of a chest of drawers. This event brings Sovelmash closer to the beginning of automated production of its own angle grinder. In August, Sovelmash was visited by guests from China, representatives of the Baijin Automobile Plant of Baijin Automobile Works, including Feda Chi, Deputy General Director. They visited the territory of the Design and Engineering Technological Bureau, met with Dmitry Duyunov, the author of the Slovenka Technology, and Sergei Semenov, General Director of Solar Group. The guests were introduced to the Design and Technological Bureau facilities. A working meeting was held with them, at which certain agreements were reached between the plant and Sovelmash. Beijing Automobile Works is one of the largest plants of the Chinese automotive industry. A few years ago, it launched the production of electric cars. The management of the enterprise is interested in applying the Slovenka technology on its products. On the 5th of August, an office of Solar Group was opened in the city of Quito, Ecuador. 51 people took part in the festive event. In the office, anyone interested in the project in Ecuador can see what was previously only available online. A kit for electric transport and a boat motor, based on the Slovenka technology. Copies of patents and test reports of the technology. Information booklets and much more. The office will be open Monday to Friday. It will host individual meetings and presentations for investors and partners. In addition, the office will open a partner school, so that partners can upgrade their skills. New denominations of investment packages have appeared in the back office. This will help you to buy or increase the package on comfortable terms, which is especially important now, while the thank you promotion is in effect. In total, we have introduced 10 new denominations, from 30 to 
Each of them can be paid as a lump sum or in installments for 10, 20, 30 months. We remind you that as part of the thank you promotion, if you increase your package or buy a new one, you get an additional 20% of shares or more. So, by supporting the construction of the Design and Technological Bureau with your investments now, you will receive more dividends from the profits of Sovolmash Engineering Center. In August, we announced the Solar Group International Conference. It will be held on September the 16th in Moscow, on the territory of the Special Economic Zone Technopolis Moscow, Pichatniki site. Solar Group managers, representatives of Sovolmash and other speakers will speak at the conference. There will be a demonstration of machinery on Slavanka and company documents. Hurry up to register to visit the main event of the year in the project, to communicate with like-minded people and get all the information about the project first-hand. The link to register is in the description below the video.